Hello everybody, my name is Ed and welcome back to Golf Story. Now, in the last episode, we finally impressed the coach. We finally got him on our side and he's finally been coaching us in secret, kind of at night and things. And now today, he's having a day off. So what we have to go and do is go and watch a video on the computer because YouTube is a thing in this game. I adore golf story i'm really really loving this series and if you guys are too please do let me know in that comment section let me know your favorite part of the series so far because i really really like this and i want to try and continue this all the way to the end and i hope you guys will stick around watching it so if you are enjoying it like i said be sure to like the video subscribe to gamehog if you already haven't and leave us a comment down there letting us know to carry on i'm always legitimately excited to play this game because i know that i've not had the chance to play this outside and so every time we do a video on this this is me genuinely getting to play a bit more. But what did this guy want again? Ready to try out the course? No, we don't want to do that just yet. There was a video we had to go and do, so let's go watch that. Aha! Okay, so here's the YouTube we have to do. Alright, let's see if I can get logged in. Ah, here we go. Let's see what this video business is all about. This looks like a Game Boy. Videos don't look like this. Come to today's lesson. Sorry about the video quality. Well, at least they're referencing it. Today, we'll be talking shot height. By aiming higher or lower on the board, you could change the trajectory of your shot. I know this already. We've been playing golf for months. Heading towards the bottom will send the ball higher. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I know. <laughs> I know this. This can be useful for hitting over trees or stopping the ball faster. Okay, however, a high shot is more susceptible to strong winds. Okay, well that I didn't know, but look how fast this wind is going. Look at that tree. It's, it's bending so much. Yeah. Okay, so a low hit's gonna go straight, hitting towards the top is- it keeps the ball lower. Lower trajectory means the ball will roll further, so you use that to your advantage. I know this. Wake up! Did you really fall asleep watching videos on the computer? What is going on? This is like that episode of South Park where they get into Facebook. Yes, I fell asleep. Oh, she's- uh, maybe she's next to me and this is all part of the dream. I was right. The Green Keeper is looking for you. He's got some crazy new plan for something. I hope you don't take him seriously. Okay, well, if you guys remember, in the last episode we found an army of the undead and we had to kill them with golf balls. It was amazing. What were you watching on there anyway? A video about golf? Really? Let me take a look. Why isn't Coach training you himself? I don't know. I, I, I thought you'd know. I'll tell you why Coach doesn't train me. It's because he knows that I'm gonna kick his ass. I am the best golf player in this game. Although I'm slightly modest. I know I'm good at my ability, but I don't brag about it. It's not the kind of guy I am. The Green Keeper wanted to meet me, so what's going on? Finally, you're back. I've been thinking about our grass problem. I figured the grass at Cheeky Beak Peak. <laughs> Cheeky Beak Peak is a great name. The grass at Cheeky Beak Peak is simply magnificent. So all we need to do is follow their example. So we should go to. So all we have to do is entice a member to come here. Then we will quiz them thoroughly about the course. Get them to describe the terrain down to the very last detail. Oh, okay. Why don't we just go on the course and inspect it ourselves? Are you crazy? They don't allow rival greenkeepers anywhere near that place. How would they know that you're a greenkeeper? Of course. We will go to the course under the guise of playing golf. I will pose as your caddy and investigate while we are there. It's perfect. Meet me there immediately. Oh, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Meet you at Cheeky Beak Peak. <laughs> See you there. In the last episode, we actually got rid of those frisbee guys. I'm wondering what all these people are wanting. What did you want, dude? I saw you on that boat out there. We can use it to hit the island in the middle. Want to give it a go? Okay, fire. Watch out. It's real windy out there. Oh, 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 okay, well I can use my newfound skills. Okay, I'm hitting the top of the ball, so therefore the wind shouldn't hit it so much, and then let's ya- Oh, no! Ah -ha -ha! Let's try that again, for goodness sake. Ya! Yeah! And ya? Yeah? Oh, no! Oh, that was too hard. Okay, let's try this, yes, and yeah- Oh, too hard! Oh, it almost went in the hole! That would have got me more points! Yeah! Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now! Okay, the top spin is wi- In fact, I haven't been top spinning at all! Maybe that was part of the problem. Oh dear, that was way too hard. No! Come on! It's in the area! This is fine! I just need one more! And then, yes! Come on, the Elgato adds, like, that extra couple of frames delay, so I'm never gonna get these perfect shots. It sucks. Final hit. Well, I've already done it, so it doesn't matter. I get a little bit of points. Come on! Ah! Oh. And then, yeah, oh dear, that's not very good. Please go in. 
It would just be nice if you sat in there. Okay, I nailed almost all of them. I am the best at golf game. Look at this. I've leveled myself up to the point where I have an essentially pure shot now. No more stuff's gonna sway off course for the temps. You caused considerable damage to that swan boat. You encouraged me to do that challenge! I feel like I should do this guy's challenge at some point, but we can, we can go back to that another time. If you guys want to see me play that course, let me know. This isn't the right way. I can't remember where it was I was meant to be going. Where was I meant to go? Cheeky Beak Peak! That was it! Where's Cheeky Beak Peak? I don't know. Cheeky Beak Peak! I found you! Okay, so... What now? Ooh! Oh, it's lovely here! Oh, this feels like a kind of... 2D Breath of the Wild area. I really like this. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, it's so beautiful. And that beautiful pixel woman. Wow. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Hello, beautiful pixel woman. Who are you? That look. You look like a go-getter. Would that be right? Yes. Prove it. Go-getters chip in with their five iron. Uh, no, they don't. It's tempting to play the wedge every time. However, if you use your five iron, you can make a run at the hole. Onlookers will surely be impressed. Make sure you hold ZR and ZL for approach shots. How many do I get? Okay, and blam. Oh dear, that was way too hard. Come on, get in that hole, you bitch! Yeah! Final shot, I didn't really need to do this one, but sod it, I'll do it anyway. Oh, what a way to end it! Oh, this is my final hit? Ah, oh, that was, I thought that was my final hit. Damn it. Oh god, and I really screwed up the last one, well... That was like a complete polarized final two shots. Being a go-getter pays off every time. Do I get enough? I was about to say, do I not get experience for that? That was a pretty difficult challenge. Being a go-getter begins and ends with chipping with a five iron. Really? This is, uh, okay. Hello, other pixel woman. Speak to me. We're just learning how to shape our shots here. You press X or something. Shaping shots is rad. Interested? It's pretty rad. Okay, okay, so you have to try to hit around this tree. If you can land on the green, you'll get a point. If you also land in the marker, that would be pretty rad. You can have a point, an extra point for that. That's worth two points. Fine, you can have two. Risky shot, risky shot, risky shot. Fuck, you went in the trees. I suck. I suck so badly. Come on, final shot. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. Get in the green, get in the thing. Yeah, but it was the final hit. I screwed it up by one point. That's so disappointing. Another try. Please, I could do it this time. I know, I know. This one's such a gamble, but I've got to take it. Come on, please. Come on. No, 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 no. No, fuck. I have to get it in here. If I can get this one in there, I'm absolutely laughing. Please don't fuck this up. Please don't fuck this up. Oh, that might be too hard. Please, 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 please. I was just shy! Fuck! Oh, this isn't gonna work. I'm so nervous constantly in this. This this is the one that makes me judge every decision I make. Uh, oh, I just need it to go in the hole. Come on, what's this one gonna do? Oh my god, I did it! Okay, see if I can do it again. Second time's the charm. Oh, it's not good enough, or is it? I don't know. Come on! Yes! I finally did it! It took three attempts, but now I can just fuck about. Screw this game. Yeah, bitches! Straighten the hole. God, straighten the hole. Straighten that hole. Straighten that hole. Go straighten that hole. Get straighten that hole. Nope. Finally, success. Uh, challenges are meaningless. Aha! It's going according to plan so far. Nobody knows I'm a greenkeeper. Are you sure? You've brought several wheelbarrows. Yes, well, take a look over there. Cheeky beak birds. They seem to be in a furor at the moment. Cheeky beak birds are known to steal balls, but they aren't usually this brazen about it. It's creating the perfect distraction. You head inside and book our round. I may be able to fool these people, but I'm known to the marshal. Oh, okay, right. Well, then I guess we better go explore this place. So this is Cheeky Beak Peak. There's a wicked song breeze of this peak. Cheeky Beak Peak. Think you could tame it? Uh, I could certainly try. Yep, the wind is strong. See how you go hitting the big island. The more centrical you can get, the better, obviously. Okay. Well, it's going slightly that away. So let's try this and this. How strong is this wicked breeze, yo? 
Oh, I went mad far. Okay, so I need to do like half of that in terms of distance. <laughs> Fuck that, that's too hard. That's really annoying. Okay, how do I start this match? Because we'll do that in the next episode. Precision irons, hit straighter. Hmm, I will buy those precision irons. Hi there, I'd like to buy- wait a minute. I know you! I watched your golf video. Oh, it's the woman from the golf video! You saw my video? What did you think? It- it was... great! Coach never talks about movements in such detail. I had no idea there was science stuff in golf. Do you think you could take a look at my swing? Sure I could, but things are a bit hectic at the moment. We're short on staff, so I have to run the pro shop between my training sessions. It's pretty hectic outside too with the birds. The cheeky beaks! No, what's happened? They've gone mad. I'd better check it out. Oh no, what's happening with the birds then? The, the, well, the greenkeeper's told us, but why does she not know about the birds? This is no good. They are causing such a commotion, but I need to stay and watch the pro shop. I could try to deal with the birds, then maybe after you can give me that lesson. Sure, if you think you can handle it, find the people they're bothering and see if you can help them. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching Golf Story, this, guys. This has been a little bit more of a challenge-filled one and a kind of small plot-moving device, but now we've moved to a brand new area, Cheeky Beak Peak, and if you guys are looking forward to seeing that in the next episode, be sure to like the video, subscribe to Game Gamehog if you already haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Biesies.